Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Daniela here. So I took a break, um, I think a couple times this month or once at the end of it, April and last week, um, because I'm trying a little bit of a different planning style. Um, just kind of adding some more checklists into my weeks so that I have a bit more um, kind of structure to my weeks, um, I guess would be the best way to describe it. So today I'm actually going to be using a kit that I got for a $2 Tuesday from Chrissy Ann Designs. Now these are vinyl stickers, so it is important to use a permanent marker on these stickers. And um, I use this one that I got through her website. It's a micro perm in a 03, so it's nice and thin still for me. I have large writing, so finer tip pens are my friends. Um, so because they're vinyl stickers, they are also removable. Um, and they've got these really cute little Steve guys. Um, I can't remember the exact name of this kit anymore, but it's very home based. I love the little, it's like home body kind of feel to it. I love the little teapots and plants and just the colors in this kit are absolutely adorable. So again, with the checklists, I will be utilizing many of these. So I'm thankful she has a lot. We've got some really cute bottom washi date covers. I haven't used very many in this planner actually, so I might stick them in there just for, just for kicks. Uh, functional boxes, habit trackers, and weekly sidebar sticker and then some scripts and some more functional boxes. So, <clears throat> just as I set go, it's like, ready, set, go, and then you get a tickle, right? That's the way it works. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start trying to organize myself here. Um, throw down this bottom washi. Now I am going to leave a space at the bottom because I've been actually putting my dinners down here. I just want to measure. I haven't used one of your kits in this planner yet. Okay, yeah, that should work great. So it does take up a bit more room. Um, I've been putting my dinners down here now. Um, I used to do my Instagram and YouTube posts, but because I've been kind of just going with the flow, not making it super structured um, or as structured anymore. I'm not posting as much. Um, I shouldn't say that. I am still posting. I'm just not posting like the day that I want to. Like I'm not going on Instagram to post as much, I guess. It's hard to explain. I am using an app. What am I looking for? My knife. And ruler. So what I'm doing is now um, I'm using later.com and scheduling some photos for my Instagram and then I've still got some YouTube content going out but as per usual it's scheduled. Okay so I still have a little bit of washi I might use that later. Um, oh, another thing, vinyl stickers, you will need a knife or a cutting tool of some sort. Um, this is just a, I believe it's a Fiskars, yes it is. It's a Fiskars cutting knife and I can replace the blades as I need them. <coughs> Again, that tickle in my throat. Ooh. Um, I wonder. No, she doesn't have dinner's script. And that's totally fine. I don't mind. So yeah, so instead of using my sidebar sticker for my dinners, I've been using this little bottom area, just leaving that one little spot down there to put them in. Okay, so I think I'm going to do my date covers right away so I don't forget. And I picked up this trick of putting the dates down first before you put your weekday stickers. I was watching... Okay, so I'm filming this in like end of March-ish kind of time. Yes, I pre-plan quite heavily in advance. Um, it's definitely what works best for my family and I. Um, and it just makes it kind of more fun because then you guys get to look back and, or you guys get to watch in real time. Um, but I can kind of look back and be like, oh yeah, I loved using that kit before you guys even see it or when it actually comes out. Um, so 
that's always fun. Okay. Um, yeah, so currently I've been watching, oh, you know what? I wonder. Sorry, I'm currently, I just finished re-watching a lot of Kristen um, Damien's, um, Shoot, is your last name Damien? I can't even remember, you guys. Um, so I just watched a bunch of Kristen's Plan With Me's. Um, anybody else just watch YouTube for the heck of it and really enjoy it? <laughs> so when she does her date covers, she turns her planner upside down and she puts the dates down first. Um, she also turns the sticker sheet upside down to get the dates off, which is really, really smart. Um... Yeah, so that way you don't forget what the days are. Kind of like that. And you can get them semi straight when you can kind of see it closer. Whoops. It's not. So, yeah, I've been really excited to use a lot of different stickers in my planner. I've been trying to keep up with some posts on Instagram and just kind of using them in fun and different ways, kind of. Just playing in my planner again, which has been really good. Um, I had a little bit of a hiccup in March, actually, where I wasn't sure what I wanted to do anymore. Do I still like this planning system? Did I want to continue with it? Like, what do I want to do? And I realized I really do want to finish this planner. I really miss this planner. I was out of it for almost a week. I think it was just over a week. Um, and I really wanted to get back to it and just give it another shot. And I'm very glad that I did. So. Whoa. I'm not going down the street. Again, very thankful these vinyl stickers are removable. And I can just play around with it. Um... Yeah, so I've been really enjoying being back in this planner and having lots of fun, using kits, using Happy Planner stickers, um, keeping it very um, relaxed. Yeah, my husband actually came to me at one point and he's like, I know you really enjoy planning and I can tell that it brings you like a lot of joy, but I think it's a little bit too much. So that was a bit of a wake up call for sure. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out. I really like this sticker with the homebody on it, but then there's only one that's this color and one that's this color. I was thinking for the sidebar. I'll probably end up covering up this May. Okay, let's go easy on myself first. <laughs> let's get the weekend banner up. Weekend. Because we never remember that it's the weekend, so we always have to post or put a sticker down for it, right? Uh, whew, it's just jumping down. Maybe I should try and center it. Hang on. Woo! Again, yay, removable stickers. I think that's good. That's good. Okay, that's cute. I like how it's like rainbowy. I really like the colors in this kit. Um. No, screw it. I'm going to do this one in the corner because it's really cute. I'm going to go... Ooh, there was a peak of last week. Um, if I had already used last week, I would totally show you um, what, how it turned out. But since I'm still in March, like way back here... I will not be showing you last week because it's not filled in quite yet. Um, there was a this week sticker. There we go. And I am going to try and cover the dots. Okay. Now, it's a smidge crooked. Okay, so I was trying something new last week. And again, it's not filled in, so I'm not going to show you what I did. Um, 
And this is kind of another tester week to see how I like <laughs> this style of planning. Um, I think I'm going to try color blocking. And I have small weather stickers that I'll put in um, the Sunday prior. But I think I'm going to color block. These ones. No. Maybe down the middle. That'd be cute. Kind of like that. So I may not fill these checklists in like 100% and I may not, um, the things that I do put on them, I may not even check all of them off, but you know what, they're there just as a reminder. Um, it's funny actually, last week when I was kind of bah humbug towards my planner, I, um, I was watching Julie of Julie's plans, plan with me, and she was like, you, we need to remember that our planner is supposed to be functional, which mine was definitely not feeling functional, and it needs to work for me, and it doesn't matter what everybody else thinks, it doesn't matter, or if you're, something's not working, try something else, right? Just make it work. So I think, and we are not slaves. The biggest thing that caught my attention was we are not subservient to whatever is in our planner. So that was huge. Um, I was like, oh yeah, just because it's in there doesn't mean I have to do it. It's just a handy reminder saying that, oh yeah, this is something that you wanted to do. Would you still like to do this kind of thing? So I'm kind of, I don't know, part of me is kind of relieved and just like, oh, right. I'm not having to check off every single thing on this to-do list because that's what I'm supposed to do in my planner. I'm supposed to regiment, right? No, it's supposed to be a place to remind you. And if the things that you have done down on Monday, don't get done until Friday. Big whoop to do. You got it done. Congratulations. So it's kind of, these checklists are more going to be a reminder. Of course, there are certain things like I always meal plan on Thursdays because that's when the sales for the next week come out at our grocery store. So I'll probably stick to that. Um, and then I usually grocery shop after I finish work on Fridays, um, barring any other appointments and whatnot. Um, and I'm going to put two of these down because one is going to be my regular weekly chores. And I might try, I think what I'm going to do, because the new system, I haven't tried it yet. I might try and spread my chores out a bit again. That's not going to be enough room. Okay, I'm going to have to move everything up. Yeah, so the way that I've kind of set it up is that I'm going to have chores kind of on the side. So dinner's across the bottom. Chores on my sidebar so that I can kind of catch a glimpse of, oh, I really should do some laundry on Monday. Oh, I should really um, mop my floors on Tuesday or vacuum and mop. Um, kind of stuff like that. So as I have the time, gear done. But again, it's mostly a reminder. If I end up doing 50% of my chores on Monday, great. All the better. I have a couple extra days to just relax, be a mom, go for a weekend away, something like that. And by weekend away, I mean probably just sit in front of the TV in my jammies. <laughs> right? World we're living in. Um, yeah. So, um, I am still tracking my spending and these are the daily spending trackers from the Prairie Planner. Again, um, she's a Canadian shop. Um, Christine Designs is American and I absolutely adore her product. It's Both of these shops are absolutely amazing. Um, 
I definitely do enjoy supporting my fellow fellow Canadians, but there are some shops that are near and dear to my heart down from the States as well. Um, so. Okay, so my spending tracker is down, and I'm going to put a couple of these cute habit trapper, blah, 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 trappers, trackers down as well. Um, I'm going to do the green one. I wonder if all three would fit. They might actually fit. And that's basically what I'm going to put on my sidebars. So again, dinner's at the bottom, chores for the week that I want to get done. Um, if I don't end up using both of them for chores, I'll probably use one for um, like a thankful thought or something like that. I uh, don't know if you will fit, but I really want you to. Maybe I'll just overlap a smidge. Nope, not enough. Okay, let's do some sticker magic. There is a bit of white around Kristen's stickers, which is totally fine. It actually makes it work for different planners quite well. And so I'm just going to overlap them a little bit. And voila. Okay. Ta-da. All right. So this sheet is basically done. And what I'll probably end up doing is moving this checklist over here just so that it's closer to being done. Um, I really like how this turned out. I'm very excited to use this. I have places for my weather stickers still. I have places for my dinners. Speaking of, I'm just going to grab my script sticker album. I'll grab my dinner stickers, which I apparently might need more of. <laughs> And I'm just going to put it, maybe I'll center it. <laughs> Straight would be great too, right? There we go. Okay, so yes, this sheet is basically done. This sheet, I only used a couple stickers off of it, but I might use some more of these guys. Cancelled and rescheduled, you never know. Lots of this sheet left. I only used the four down here. A lot of this one is left a lot of the functionals and stuff and a lot of these boxes as well so I've got lots to work with as the week comes up and yeah that's basically everything for this plan with me I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I won't be putting um, work schedules or any after the pen in these videos anymore um, just to kind of keep things a bit more private um, but yeah we I really appreciate all your support and you're taking time to watch my video. Um, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe to this channel to see more Plan With Me's. So I'm hoping to get a few more done in the next week or two. Um, pushing into May, so maybe next month I'll get a few more ready. Um, I still have a couple of April ones that I need to upload off my phone actually. And then I will hopefully get some more photos up for Instagram as well so that those are up. Um, before the pen, I might start doing my after the pens as well. I'm still kind of on a bit of a slow return to Instagram. Um, that's probably the nicest way to say it. My hiatus has been very nice. So um, be sure to check over there. I've always got it linked down below as well. So be sure to check over there in case you want to follow along with me there. Thank you again so very much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Have a great night. Bye.